So real quickly, wanted to talk about this. Didn't want to write anything out because kind of busy, but wanted to talk about mobility real quickly because a lot of times we get people that come in um, specifically kind of more with Olympic weightlifting and think they have to work on mobility or are kind of obsessed with this notion of um, increasing mobility. And in my opinion, mobility is very skill and task specific. And one of the examples I use all the time, and I think I got this from um, Quinn Hinnock back in the day, gymnasts are typically considered very mobile, but if you put most of them, if you gave most of them a barbell, told them to put it overhead in an overhead squat, most of them would be very bad at it. And people kind of have this notion that overhead squat is a very good kind of mobility assessment or even mobility increasing tool. Um, but the overhead squat is really just good at increasing mobility in the overhead squat and kind of snatch a little bit as well. So mobile, and just like Olympic lifters, some might consider many Olympic weightlifters very mobile. If you took them over to the gymnastic side of things, they wouldn't be able to do almost 100% of the things that gymnasts do. So in my opinion, what most people consider mobility is very dependent on the task at hand. And if you want to improve mobility specific to that task, you likely just have to do that task a little bit more. So for example, if your front rack kind of mobility isn't very good, um, in the front squat, you might just have to front squat more. Um, and you might just have to try to keep your hand around the barbell um, as long as you can during your front squat or maybe you just elevate the heels a little bit to improve a little bit more posterior expansion to allow the elbows to come up. But most of the time, what most people consider mobility um, really can be um, achieved or helped by doing more of the specific task. So um, another topic or another conversation, which I'm not go going to go into in this video is actually increasing range of motion, which isn't always synonymous with what most people think of as mobility. And what I'll leave you with is again, most people think the overhead squat is a very good mobility tool or mobility assessment, but you're actually kind of compensating in a very specific way to keep the barbell a fixed implement overhead to overhead squats. You're actually kind of um, compressing and internally rotating. So compressing on the backside of the rib cage and internally rotating at the shoulder because you really can't ER with a bar, externally rotate with a bar overhead at all. So it's not really a range of motion increasing tool because you have to compensate to keep the bar overhead and overhead squat. There's your little nugget of wisdom today. Happy 4th of July. Have a good weekend, folks.